Many Scots future in Outside in and inside out techniques according to preferences of Grzegorz Jarosławski, Dworska Hospital. Previously, we presented the posterior horn meniscal repair using the all inside technique. In this video, we will show the outside in and the inside out techniques of meniscus body suturing. The surgeon manages the suturing process through the arthroscopic view. The outside-in technique involves passing the suture from the outside of the knee. The first thread penetrates the skin, the medial collateral ligament, including the deep part of the meniscotibial ligament, the joint capsule and the lower part of the meniscus. The suture is pulled out of the needle to create a loop. Then, the surgeon inserts the second needle with the thread, which is put through the loop of the first suture. The suture threaded through the loop is passed outside the knee through the anteromedial portal. The end of the suture is pulled out. Both needles are removed from the joint cavity, but the sutures remain in place. The orthopedist pulls the lower suture out of the knee. Thanks to this, the upper suture is passed through the lower part of the meniscus. The sutures must be tight under the skin. The surgeon makes a small incision for the current suture as well as another next to it. The threads are passed subcutaneously towards the skin incision and then outside the knee. Finally, the sutures are tied beyond the joint capsule. Tightening the suture knot brings the edges of the meniscus tear together. The next suture will be placed using the inside-out technique. The needle will be inserted from the joint cavity to the outside of the knee. For this purpose, the surgeon inserts a cannula into the joint cavity and places it on the meniscus to mark the location of the suture passage. The orthopedist inserts a long flexible needle with the suture into the cannula and then passes it through the designated area of the meniscus. The needle penetrates the meniscus, the joint capsule, the MCL and the skin. The end of the thread is pulled outside the knee. In the next step, the surgeon moves the tip of the cannula to the second plant location of the suture. The end of the suture accessible from the anteromedial portal is then re-threaded through the eye of the needle. The needle is inserted into the cannula in the same way as the first time. In this case, after leaving the cannula, the needle passes the joint capsule, the MCL and the skin, then completely goes outside the knee. The ends of the suture are pulled subcutaneously into the previously made skin incision, which allows the thread to be tied. Tidying the suture knot brings the edges of the meniscus tear together. The sutures are tied beyond the joint capsule. If you have any questions regarding meniscus tears repair, do not hesitate to contact us. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with the new services available at our hospital.